Hello Fruity Sheeks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Joanna, this is day 27 of 31 Days of Clowns, and today I'm gonna to be turning myself into Twisty from American Horror Story. First I put down a layer of white spirit Halloween grease paint and I'm going over the edges with brown Zanovka face paint to dirty it up and here I am drawing out teeth shape for his mask. Drawing on the teeth was probably the most difficult part of this makeup and the most time consuming. To fill in the gums, I used a Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Lipstick in the color Wicked. I was going to use Zanovka face painting kit red, but that wasn't a deep red and I wanted a deep red so I went for the lipstick instead. Now I'm using brown eyeshadow from the Neon Brights eyeshadow palette all around the edges of my face just to grime this makeup up a bit, make it look more dirty. And I filled in the black of the mouth with Spirit Halloween black face paint. Now to make the teeth more dirty, I'm using a light brown eyeshadow from the Neon Brights eyeshadow palette on the bottoms of the teeth and a dull yellow from that same palette on the tops of the teeth. Twisty has some blood in his hairline, so I'm using Fun World's Vampire Blood and applying it with a sponge brush or beauty blender, whatever they're called, and squeezing some right out of the bottle as well to make it look more drippy. Also also for all the wrinkles on my face, I used a light brown eyeshadow from the Neon Brights eyeshadow palette and an angled brush and just drew them on my face. This is quite a bit of makeup. I like it. This came out good. I am loving the giant teeth mouth. I think this is a successful illusion, especially if I like back up. My teeth are showing. Twisty has three tufts of hair sticking out of his head, so I put my hair into three pigtails or ponytails, whatever you want to call them. Unfortunately, I do not have the colored hairspray to match his. He has, I think it's a uh, green, red, and maybe blue or yellow hair tufts. Um, I don't have that, so I just left mine naturally brown. And now for the full outfit. I have on my clown collar like usual. Again, I only have black. I don't have, in this case, off-white, unfortunately. Twisty wears a clown suit, off-white, very dirty clown suit with some pom-poms and some red accents. The closest thing I have to that is the Pennywise dress, and I was thinking about wearing that, but I don't want to look like Pennywise again. So instead, I did a bit of a stretch took some creative liberties and came up with this outfit instead. So I have on these very bloody, look like I tore open my skin sleeves and matching tights to go with it. Very bloody. I DIY'd both the sleeves and the tights myself. There's a video on that. I will link it right in this corner or maybe that corner, wherever it is, it'll be linked. I chose these because one, they're both off-white just like his clown suit and two, he's, um, he's murderous. So blood and gore. I have on my little wrist puffs again, made out of scrap ribbon, and I didn't feel like going downstairs for safety pins, so we're using bobby pins again. For the body of this outfit, I have on this off-white, like cream kind of colored slip skirt that I am wearing as a shirt instead. It has some cute little lace and embroidery details on the edge. Underneath the slip skirt, I have on my poofy black skirt and my red petticoat. I put on the black because it's a neutral color to use as a bottom, and then I put on the red under it to kind of emulate his clown collars because his clown collars are off-white with the red trim so now we have black with the red trim and in any case I think it's cute then to cinch it all together so I don't look like a potato sack I have on this black ruffly take step forward so you can see it corset belt and my red converse and that's the full look again this is very much the bold departure from the original source material if you get that reference you get a cookie but I like it. This is this is a good outfit. This is another clown costume that I would just wear as my everyday fashion because it's cute. It's weird. I like it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Ooh, I hit the box. If you, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more of me, you can click the link in the description box. There you can find my Instagram, other Instagram, TikTok, and a whole bunch of other stuff involving me. If you want to see more clowns, check my Instagram and TikTok, because I'm posting there as well. And you should tune in tomorrow for the next clown video, because I am posting 31 Days of Clowns. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!